So let's say we want to create something, for example, a line tangent to a spline. If we do that in Fusion 360, and I'm going to start a new sketch and simply sketch a fit point spline. If you do this in Fusion 360, we'll find out that isn't really possible in one and the same sketch. Let me turn off the 3D sketch because that's a little annoying right now. So I've created uh, some arbitrary spline and I created a line on that spline. And if I try to apply the tangency constraint, I can't, it doesn't let me pick the spline. Or if I first pick the spline, then it doesn't let me pick the line. So how do we do this anyway? So let me finish that sketch and I'm going to create a plane along path. And that plane along path is always going to be normal to that, that spline. So what I can do then, I'm going to simply create a sketch on that, um, on that plane and sketch a line on that, in that sketch. And that line will always be perpendicular to that spline. What I can do then is I can create another construction plane, in this case a plane at angle. Uh, in this case the default degree are fine uh, because this plane is coplanar with the plane the sketch was created on, that's important. Um, then I'm going to create another sketch on that plane, project the line into that, and simply sketch another line perpendicular to the projected line. So I sort of lost that um, perpendicularity inference, so I'll do that manually. So now it is perpendicular. So I'll finish this sketch and modify this spline. We'll see that this line here that is highlighted in blue now will always be tangent to the spline. So that's one way to create tangency toward a spline. But let's say we um, we start with different conditions. So I'll delete all that stuff and I'm going to edit my sketch again with the spline. And let's say I have a very particular point on that spline that I want to create something with tangency on that point. So right now I have, I have created this point and I enable 3D sketch and I'm going to create a line on that point. I go up in the z direction in this case. So I created this spline on the xy plane. I'm going to into uh, going up in the z direction. If you would create the spline on a different plane, you would go perpendicular from the plane that you create the spline. So I finished that sketch and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create an extrusion from that spline and then I'm going to make a construction plane, plane at angle and in this case it doesn't really, the angle doesn't really matter as long as it intersects the spline. Uh, it's probably helpful if it intersects it in only one spot. If I rotate it this way it'll intersect the spline in more than one point. And then I'm going to simply split the face With that construction plane. So I hide the sketch and I have the construction plane and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create an offset from that surface and then create a loft between those two edges here. And my interface for the loft dialog shows up on my other monitor, so I have to drag it over here. So I click OK, and that particular surface here is perpendicular to the original spline and to the offset spline. So if I need tangency, what I can do, I can simply extend this, uh, this surface, but I don't extend it the, by the default, which is natural, I have to change this to perpendicular, and then that extended surface is always going to be 
uh, tangent to the original spline. So if you have to have that in a sketch, you can simply create another sketch here on the origin plane and project these uh, edges into that sketch. Let me do that real quick. And P for project, and I project this in there and that in there, okay. And hide my, uh, my bodies, and there you have it. So that line is tangent to that spline. So that's the construction that, uh, that you can use to create tangency to a spline. So hopefully this helps.